YouTube, what's good? It's the kid Nate back at Rare Breed Life HQ with big homie Ace. You see, we got the Nemesis X gear on. Big Ace got the black with the white riding, looking fresh. Today, man, we're gonna get outside, go for a walk, um, chop it up with Big Ace. We've been going through some things these last couple weeks. Um, so today, I want to just get in touch with you guys, let you not let you guys know what's going on with me, with Big Ace, um, with the drop, with everything going on. Um, so again, you see us with the NX gear. Um, that will be dropping soon, but in the meantime, make sure you guys go to rarebreedlife.com, use my code Nate10, grab some of that new merch. Uh, so we'll start today off. I'm on the way in, Big Ace. It's been about a week since we weighed in, so we want to check in, see where we're at. With our handy dandy. 425. 425, that's what you think? Let's see, let's step on. Where we at with it? 424. Cool, man. Kitty. So, nah, it's all good. Like, you know, like we said, we've been going through some things. Some things have happened. Life. Um, last video, last week, where were we at? Ace, like four. 420. Nah, we weren't 420. For the video, we were four. Oh, it was 430, 437. 437, yeah. So that's, that's progress for us, man. So um, again, today we're going to walk, get outside, just get the body moving, get some things off our chest, and uh, we'll get to it. Maybe throw some, some workout clips in there for you guys as well. All right, so stay tuned. Whoo, man, so it's hot today. It's probably what, at least 100 degrees, big dog. Yeah. It's at least over 100 down here in SoCal. Still getting used to this, this, this heat in Cali, man. I'm not, I'm not used to this. I, I moved out here because, you know, it's supposed to be sunny and, and breezy every day, but it's all good. We still got to work. So as promised, man, me and Big Ace just going for a little walk. Uh, today is Thursday. It's uh, September. Is it September? What, what are we in? October it's like, I'm tripping. It's October 1st, and uh, this is actually our first, first day training this week. Uh, Big Ace was going through some things, work, uh, life, you know, as, as we all go through things like that so uh we got it handled um, but today is our first day and uh i just want to you know get an in-depth conversation with big ace we have conversations you know a lot but i want you guys to kind of understand where ace is coming from um I'm, i'll open up about things and uh we're just gonna have a conversation so uh one of the first things you know i noticed uh when big ace came in is that he had uh you know some cuts on his arms and you know i didn't Zoom in on it. That's what, four of them? Four of them. Four cuts, and I didn't, you know, outright ask him what it was, but gradually as I got to know him, um, I think it was Pitt actually asked him, you know, what are those cuts on your arms? You know, and Big Ace, go ahead and let him know, you know. Basically, I was in a dark place, you know, in a dark, you know, dark place, basically. You know? Just going through shit, you know, dealing with shit. Growing up, you know, I, I didn't really have, you know, like a brother around me, you know, like I, I'm the only boy in my family. I only got two older sisters. So, you know, going, when I was growing up in high school and shit, like there's things I, I, I didn't have someone to go to to speak to, you know, I didn't have nobody to talk to about something, you know, my parents and all, but, you know, in the poly culture, you know, we, we, we take depression as, uh, a sign of weakness, huh? A sign of weakness. And you know, uh, probably in the poly culture, they, uh, I'm not trying to talk down on my culture, but you know, I'm pretty sure you guys, all my poly people know what I'm talking about. Is they, they don't pay attention to it. They just, you know, like, oh, you'll be okay. Just, just brush it off. Just brush it off. But me, man, like, I, I'm very, like, sentimental sometimes. Like, I get emotional, you know? So I really didn't know who to go to, where to go to, to talk with, to, or to talk to. So it just, you know, shit built up on me. So it got to a point where I just didn't want to be here. You know, I was like, fuck this place. You know, like getting rejected, you know, like being rejected, not just with girls or anything, which is in life in general, like work, jobs, school, football, you know? Fucking 
and that made you just kind of resort to like that you feel that's the only way you could express yourself that was the only way i could express myself you know uh and like what what's it been like just especially being overweight as well not knowing who to turn to um like food, what it, food, food was my comfort food was your comfort i was only you know what i'm saying like that was the only thing that made me feel good like just feeling my tummy in. That shit made me feel, you know, like, good. Yeah. It was your only friend, kind of, you know, Basically, that you could you know, turn to. I go through something, fuck it, I'm going to just go eat. Yeah. Hit up Tams, you know what I'm saying? Hit up Dove. Yeah. And then you you did say, like, you um you worked in Hollywood, right? Like, what was that like? And, and while you were working in Hollywood, were you also, like, battling and dealing with the depression? Uh, at that time, uh, a little bit. Um, but you know, Hollywood, when I was working in Hollywood, it, it was cool, you know, but I was still dealing with it, you know? Yeah. But, um, not as much as it was when I was, you know, in my darkest place, you know what I'm saying? My, my last years of high school and like, you know, beginning of college. Is that where it kind of like all started? Like high school? High school, college. High school, college. Yeah. And um, just me personally, guys, uh, I've never dealt with like deep depression, but I have dealt with, you know, conflicts within myself, which, you know, it's kind of a precursor into my brand, why my brand is called Nemesis X. Um, if you guys know the definition of Nemesis, I'm sure you've heard it in like comic books or things like that, but it's your, you know, your arch enemy. And the actual definition of, of Nemesis is the inescapable agent of something or someone's downfall, right? So, you know, I asked you guys the question, who tends to be our own worst enemy? And I'll, I'll let you guys answer that. But what, what me and Ace are, are trying to get people to realize is that it's you versus you at the end of the day. You have to deal with stuff, whether it be mentally, physically, um, your job, uh, ex-girlfriend, um, whatever it is, you know, and I think, uh, battling those demons within yourself and being able to overcome you know those battles is, is ultimately how you end up uh being happy in your life at the end of the day is what we're going for man it's just to be happy to love ourselves, and um to, to have people around us that also love us you know so that's kind of a precursor as to why my brand is called nemesis sex i'll give you guys a more uh detailed description of that in a later video but as far as me uh, I found, you know, the gym was an outlet for me and just understanding that I don't have to be the cool guy or I don't have to be the guy that, you know, everybody likes, man. It's all about you liking yourself first and then finding people who you can open up and be vulnerable to. I think that's the biggest thing in life that everybody deals with is being able to be vulnerable because we don't want to be judged. But when that's you find, thing. yeah, I was, I was, Go ahead. that was another thing. Judgment, like I was afraid of that shit. Uh huh. That made me like super, like you know what I'm saying, like that. Cause I was afraid to be a judge, to be judged. Right. Afraid about what people think about me. Right. You know? But that's another thing. You just gotta get over that shit. With, you know, fuck what they think. Fuck, fuck what people think. At the end of the day, cause man, at the end of the day, we all have insecurities. Everybody is a little weird. Everybody has things that they. Um, aren't comfortable with and sharing that to other people but you know when you when you bottle that up and, and you don't open yourself up to you know letting people know how you feel man it, it, it ends up being bad as you, as you can see big ace you know dealt with things the way he dealt with things people deal with things um depression like alcohol and drugs and it's just not 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 good man so what we want to do is just help people to understand that uh you can be vulnerable and not everybody will understand you and that's okay, but you will find people in your life that generally care about you, that you can open up to and express, you know, how you're feeling it and find ways that you can deal with that depression in a healthy way. For Ace, it was reaching out to Rare Breed, reaching out to us so that we can change his life, man, because we care about Ace, we love Big Ace, and we want to see him on his journey, man, road to 300. We want to generally help Ace out and Ace, I mean, how have you felt the last three months, two months that you've been with us, man? Good, man. I've seen a lot of progress. I just, I felt good, like, I felt good. 
the people like the environment, right? It's just a healthy environment for you. Very welcoming. You know, nobody's ever like talking down on you. Always uplifting. Always picking you up no matter what, you know? And if they always see you struggling doing the set, you know, they always push you, you know? Like, everybody, when you come to Rare Breed, everybody's behind you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a whole team of people behind you, not just one person, the whole squad, the whole squad. You know, Nate's been behind me this whole time. Amazing, man. And again, man, that's, that's the type of environment that, you know, that we would like to embody. It's just, a group of guys from a bunch of different backgrounds coming together. And this goes way beyond uh, the weight room, weights. Um, it, it, it's, it's a day-to-day -day battle. You know, the you versus you is, is a day-to-day -day battle, whether you know, you're waking up having to go to your job, um, your mentality every day. If you, if you think negative thoughts and you think negative of yourself, then that's gonna reflect, that energy is gonna reflect itself. And, um, you know, I could tell from day one when Ace came in, man, he, his energy was just down. You know, his demeanor was just down. And the biggest, the happiest thing that I've seen with Big Ace is just, he's vibrant now. He comes in here smiling, laughing, you know, telling jokes. When he, when he first came in here, I still saw that he had that personality, but he was more just, you know, kind of head down, quiet. And, and now I've just seen him grow, you know, as far as his demeanor and his happiness. And that's ultimately what we're going for changing lives mentally and physically so again it's a it's a day-to-day -day battle we're going to continue no matter what happens um you know in our in our personal lives mine or aces as long as we can get in here and get this work in you know be be around people who are who are uplifting and encouraging uh there's no doubt we're, we're going to hit our goal you know and we appreciate the support um that everyone's showing big ace and i and uh, we just want to continue that. We want to help spread this positivity. We want to help spread love, you know, coming together. Um, so if you guys come out to that grand opening uh, this Saturday, Rare Breed HQ is having our grand opening this Saturday. Come meet the squad, man. Come meet the team. And you guys will feel, feel that energy that me and Ace, you know, are, are talking about right now. Um, and currently we're at 424, I think we're at. Yeah. And uh, like I said, guys, we're going we're to fluctuating. yeah, we're fluctuating, but that's that's going to happen. Going back to the drawing board, doing what we got to do, hitting the weights, eating right, and uh, we'll get down to 300 in no time, man. Any leaving uh, remarks that you want to hit them with, dog? Man, uh, talk to them. It's never too late to start, man. Start today. Start today. You don't get it on track today. Uh, don't be afraid of judgment. Always stay positive. And uh, at the end of the day, it's always gonna be you behind you. Exactly. And we'll leave it on that, man. We're gonna go ahead and go hit these weights. We just wanted to go ahead and, and talk to you guys, get in depth. Um, please comment uh, in the comment section, man. If you're dealing with things personally, uh, me and Ace would love to hear about it, try to help you guys out, talk, conversate, and um, spread this love man what? so continue to just please support like comment subscribe wait for that new nemesis eggs drop and we will see you guys next time peace